and welcome to another episode of Harrison How To. Today we're working on reinforced concrete. For a reinforced concrete, you're going to need three things. You're going to need a rebar frame. You're going to need a concrete mix. And you're going to need a, a construction tool. You can use three different kinds of construction tools in order to get reinforced concrete made. First, we're going to put our reinforced concrete down. Uh, second, we're going to pull out our construction tool. The construction tools are only going to vary by how fast you can create the concrete. So when you're using your stone hatchet, you're going to use three hits to get it done. Switch to the claw hammer, it's two hits. If you have yourself a nail gun along with some nails, uh, you can do it in one hit. So you can see that you can actually get reinforced concrete made very quickly with your nail gun. Very fast. So, um, other things to note. Uh, this is one of the strongest uh, materials in the game for sure. When you have your rebar frame selected on your bar, you can notice in the top left hand corner of the, the square there, there's a whole bunch of shapes. If you hold R, you can actually pull it open and change to several different kinds of shapes. If you're trying to build some kind of house, um, some kind of different structure, you've got slants, uh, make whatever shapes that you want. And uh, you can also change the shapes if you would like to rotate them in a particular particular fashion I believe you can rotate it so that you know so then like the pillars will pop up on their sides all kinds of things you can do with reinforced concrete if you need to know how to make the cement mix or you need to know how to make rebar frames please click on the videos for cement mixer or the forge and I will show you how to get that done the other important thing you want to make sure you note is that this is all wet concrete or wet poured concrete. You have to make sure that you wait until all of this dries. You can see it's dark. It's got kind of a sheen to it. Uh, once it dries, it is also going to uh, turn into kind of a light gray, and you'll notice some like little rivets in it. Um, that's to indicate that it is reinforced concrete. There is another way for you to make reinforced concrete, and that's actually to start out with a wooden frame block and work your way all the way up. From wooden frame and upgrading it all the way up the nice part about that is you may have a base that you've already started and instead of having to tear it down and rebuild the reinforced block you can just upgrade it so we're going to put down our wood frame block pull out our uh, nails down here and just upgrade it all the way so you see it takes wood cobblestone and concrete now this is the the, the caveat or whatever this is concrete this is not reinforced concrete so you can see over here as our concrete has started to dry we're going to get these kind of rivet marks in here that's going to indicate that it's reinforced concrete this is just regular concrete once this dries i can upgrade it again to become reinforced concrete so you'll have to hit it again so again it's even less cost efficient because i had to spend 10 concrete to get it to this point and then i'm gonna have to spend another 20 to get it up to reinforced concrete where if i just started off with a rebar frame I can skip all of those other materials and I can just go straight into reinforced concrete, which you can see here. If at any point you're planning on building a big structure out of rebar frames, reinforced concrete um, situation, I will warn you, um, your rebar frames will actually stretch further than your reinforced concrete frames will. So I can make, you know, I've got rebar all the way out here, no problem, how far out does it go before it finally collapses? A pretty long way with rebar frame, see it floating there. Now if I start upgrading it to the wet concrete, um, this is probably gonna collapse, let's see here. So anytime you're building anything with reinforced concrete like this, you definitely wanna make sure that you are either letting it dry or you are creating so that one did that one held up okay there we go well that broke off pretty fast now if that had dried i assume that that would have held up so if you're building some big structure you want to make sure that you build a little bit of it if it holds let it all dry and then continue to upgrade build over your roof build your support columns thank you for watching